Hey guys, it's DID Choi here today with a very quick video on just how to take parts and score. At NYU tomorrow, I have an advanced orchestration recording session with string quintet and clarinet and pre-recorded piano. We just need full scores and parts. Some of the parts are more than one page, which means they need some taping. So thought it'd be a good chance to just do a quick video on how to tape parts. All you need is a roll of medical tape doesn't have to be in a fancy dispenser like this, but the CVS that I got this from happened to sell it with these. I also have a set of two paper clips. These are technically optional, but I highly recommend them. And of course, some scissors to cut the tape. All right, so first things first, doing a two page part is very easy because all you have to do is find the right place to tape, in which case it would be like this, laying flat page one, page two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around, make sure you don't swap the two as you do it. Okay, put them together, I'm going to paper clip them together so they stay in place. Make sure it's nice and flat and even, paper clip on both sides, tape, the length of the page. And I'm just going to stick it on. Key with these is you don't really have to spend that much time on each one unless you're making like really, really professional parts that you're going to sell. So I have one side done, flip it around, and I'm just going to fold it over. As even as you can. Take out some of the wrinkles if there are any. And of course, excess tape at the end. Trim off. Paper clips up. There you have it. Nice score. Tape on the back. Very low profile. Nice and simple. Make sure you always check it after you tape it, just in case you accidentally flipped it. All right, now I need to tape three scores. Scores are multiple pages, and in this case, they're also larger. I think this score is only three pages long, or like three separate actual pages, five pages in total of score length. The method I'm gonna use here works whether you have 20 pages or four pages. Now, once you get past 20 pages, maybe taping the score is not the best idea. But, okay, same idea, I'm gonna paper clip on either side. You could use even more paper clips if you feel like it, but just having one on each side like this does the job for me. Okay, I'm gonna start with the back side. So same thing as the part so far. Flip it over, fold it up, fold it in. Trying to keep it nice and even. All right, so if you do it like this, then you have a nice score that folds out, but the pages in the middle, while they are mostly stuck on, and in this case, it's only three pages, so it's gonna be a pretty good stick on, it's still nice to reinforce it. So what I'm gonna do is just take a smaller thing of tape here, cut it up into smaller strips, and I'm just gonna reinforce maybe in three different spots. Maybe the top and the bottom, and the middle. That's something that I often do. Or you could even cut it up into smaller things and have it kind of spots in between. And if you have 20 pages, you would go through each of these 20 pages and do this. Now, it's much better if you do it on a flat surface right now because I'm trying to film on my desk. It is a little harder, usually when I'm taping parts I do it at the school library where there's a big desk that I can just have everything out on, spread nice and even. Now we 
it doesn't always have to be the exact center of the score. You can actually stagger it between the pages so that each page has some nice reinforcing. So there you go. But yeah, here's my score. No title page. M9 because I'm the ninth person to record tomorrow. Nicely taped. Lay flat on his music stand. You know, page turns are going to work very well. Fairly quietly, not as noisy as coil binding. And that's how you tape parts and score. So I understand probably not the best camera angles and a little bit hard to see at some points, I'm sure, but that's how I do my parts. In this particular case, because it was only three pages, it didn't take that long, but the same thing works for multiple pages, bigger pages. If you have a lot of pages, one technique that someone at the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra taught me is before taping, have a paper clip and kind of roll it up like this. And that way the pages will actually kind of stagger on an angle so that when you tape it at that angle, the tape actually runs through multiple pages. And that way you can get a little bit sturdier of a construction when you have a bigger booklet. But pretty simple, all you need, medical tape, medical paper tape that is, none of that gauze stuff, two paper clips and scissors. This has been D.I.D. Choi, like, comment, subscribe if it's been helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.